and then back out to the, the uh, well, in this case, the, the, the gate. We'll go back over to uh, Best Western. Okay, so the whole process is about an hour, an hour and a half, you are guessing. Two hours. Does the van sit at the port for a few days while they figure out how to load it? Or what's the procedure once we drop off the van? Once you drop it off, yeah, it sits out with all the other cars that are going on that vessel. And then they load them all at one time, chain them down, and away it goes. Where, where's the shipping off to? Uh, we're shipping to Belgium. Okay, yeah, that's the procedure. Okay. Uh, they drive it on, they lash it down, and, and that's pretty much it, along with 200 other cars that are getting on board the same, the same vessel. Okay, sounds pretty straightforward. Give me a call when you're, like, a half hour out. Okay, sounds like a plan, Remy. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks for your call, Marnie. Okay, Have a good day. you too. Bye. We didn't say bye. <laughs> <laughs> So are we in a movie or something? Say bye. So we'll go Thursday. We'll have this hotel till Friday. Mm -hmm. So then we can come back Thursday night to this hotel room. Then we'll figure out where we go Friday when we check out. Yeah. It's better. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. Be my love. People of YouTube land, <laughs> today is shipping day. What did you say? Daddy! I gotta take a ship. <laughs> shipping day. Shipping day. Hello. Shipping day. Yeah, we are in the La Quinta Hotel in the town of Glen Burnie. It's miserable and hot outside. It's hot. And it's been like this for the past three days, probably. Our first night here in this area was in the Elks Lodge parking lot. Beautiful Elks Lodge. Nice parking lot and nice space and everything, but it was hot, sticky, it was, muggy. There was mosquitoes. There are lots of bugs. The next day was even hotter. We went to the beach at one of the state parks in the area. The beach was the best place. The beach was great. The Chesapeake is very murky. We uh, swam in this kind of questionable water. It was fun. It really helped cool us off. So we chose to uh, come here to La Quinta, which as you guys may know is a pet friendly hotel. For the last three nights we've stayed here. We're staying here one more night. Our car is going to the uh, shipping terminal today. We've got to get everything ready. We've been working on getting everything ready for the last couple of days. And today's a little final stretch. We're gonna get some free breakfast and we'll get going. Yesterday was probably the hottest day since we've been here. Today actually seems a little bit better, a little bit more tolerable. We've been hotter before. We've been hotter? Yeah, we've been hotter. We probably have been hotter. All right, so here's the van of what it looks like now. Is that better? I did it. So we're not supposed to have anything in the van when we ship. We're concerned that depending on who's handling our vehicle, they may go through our stuff. So we're stuffing as much as we can underneath the car, which means like all the space is filled completely under, under the bed all the way to the back. And then what we're going to do is, instead of having this like removable hatch, we're going to we're going to basically board it up with screws and like a scrap piece of plywood. And we'll just be able to more or less lock it up. I mean, it's not going to prevent anybody from getting in if they have the tool, but hopefully it'll be preventative enough that like the casual car handler who doesn't have tools on them can't just go and ransack our stuff. So. Let's hope that works. There's going to be other places where we're going to keep things like underneath this cabinet and these. We're going to lock this up by putting a chain around these handles. But other than that, we're doing the best we can to keep our stuff from getting ripped off. Uh, and, we need, and we need to chain close the fridge. <laughs> so no one steals our food. Even though our food is probably not going to be in there. Because yeah, it would get rocked. Bye bye now. Who are you? So, bye bye now. Bye now. 
That's it. Ow. Everything in there. I intentionally use these torque spit screws so that it's slightly less likely that somebody who's in this van who happens to have like a basic set of tools, maybe like a multi-tool or something, would have a torque spit. They couldn't just back out some of these screws with like a hand driver. I just figure any little thing helps. When I had the option to choose between a Torx head screw versus just like a Phillips head, I chose a Torx. May or may not keep people out, but I figure it's worth the effort. What? I stuffed it into one of the boxes underneath. So this is all the stuff that we're gonna have out. We have this big Mexican blanket that we made into a tube bag that has some like extra jackets in it. We're keeping that in there. All of our jugs, we have four jugs total. Three for fresh water, one for gray water. They're gonna be out, they're emptied. And here's the compartment in the back that we've uh, boarded up with these pieces of plywood. They can't get to it. They can try to get to this, I guess. We'll still steal this. Let's see if I can hide that away a little better. And then we're gonna lock that up with like a coil bike chain, lockable bike chain. So that's it, we're just gonna leave everything kind of like it is with our bedding and stuff on the bed. Pillows and stuff. I don't know what they'll do to that, hopefully nothing. Hopefully we'll get the car back exactly the way we see it now, but fingers crossed. I don't know if it's necessary, but I'm draining the row shower too. Can you see that? That's our row shower. It's under pressure, so I'm assuming that they're not going to want anything under pressure up on the boat. So I'm just letting all the water out. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh no, they're ready for that. So we're not sure how this works, but we had to hire an escort to take us into the shipping port to bring the car into the lot and get it checked through custom. But what we're not sure is whether or not Marlene needs to go with them because Marlene is the person who's been handling Oh, the shipping situation with the shipping agent so her name is on the documents and all that and only one person is allowed to go we're sending marlene as our fearless leader she's very <laughs> nervous about it very nervous i didn't sleep last night worrying about it but i think you'll be fine yoda what are you talking about sleeping under luca's butt you guys know yoda's been not feeling too well Last night she actually voluntarily slept with the kids on a really crowded full-size bed for most of the night. So that's kind of part of her old self coming back. So we'll see if that trend continues. I topped it off with DF. All right, in the car, here we go. All right, so I just put a little under three gallons in. We're not allowed to have more than a quarter tank. So I've got it so it's just under a quarter. That way when we get to Europe, assuming this thing makes it there in one piece, we'll have some fuel to drive around before we have to fill up under nine bucks a gallon price. Here's the best Western where we're gonna leave Marlene. Actually, we're gonna meet the guy who's gonna escort Marlene with the van into the terminal. We're just gonna have to wait here for her for the next couple of hours. Hopefully it won't take more than an hour and a half or so. At least we'll be able to go hang out inside the Best Western lobby. If the only thing we have is a little delay in Europe, then I will be happy. Yeah, me too. Because it could be worse. Here it is. Everything's Check out. Check out a drink. Mama will try have a chance to go look through her one last time. She, she's gonna drive the car in. And we'll meet you back right over there. Okay. Pull cool. right along. Yeah. Okay. Um, will she have to turn her phone off while inside? No, you'll be fine. Okay, so you'll she can text right. me with I just questions need, and stuff. I just need your driver's license when we get to the gate. Okay. I gotta give them that information. But okay. Keep that on you in the meantime. 
Mommy. It's gonna take an hour to get the car into port and ready for the boat. Bye. 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 Good job. I hope you have a good time, Mommy. All right, let's go, guys. Almost every time we, we, we drive across here, I see the giant statue of the crash test dummy. Yeah. There goes my one. Bye. 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 mystery machine. We're just gonna go hang out in the lobby there. It, it, it has a weird symbol like a business symbol. It says best weapon. That'll take longer. I did it! Best weapon It was easy, right? It was easy. It was, you know what was surprising? What? I got to the port. It felt. It felt comforting that I was at a port again. I'm like, this is my town. I can do this. What they, why did I not sleep last night? It did it. <laughs> so it was like half an hour, maybe, right? Yeah, it was like nobody there. Boom, 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 boom. All the stuff, everybody stand. So I got it. Didn't a, look anything in there. I got a gate pass, yeah. my driver's license, and then I went to the police area for inspection. And he just yeah. opened the door, looked in. He's like, "Am I gonna touch anything?" I'm like, "Good." And then we went, and we got a uh, thing that says we're going to Zebrug, mm -hmm. and then. In the, we got it, another car to take us where we're going to park. And then he parked and he's like, oh yeah, give me the key. I took off the license plate. I'm like, can I take a picture? He's like, if it's your car, go ahead. I'm like, awesome. So they, so my escort <laughs> took a picture yeah. and, uh, and I'm here, drove me back, 100 bucks. Where do you leave the key? You just leave it they the take it, for all campers, they take it back into the office. Okay. Did you I lock didn't it? lock it, no, because they said leave it unlocked, so. Yeah. Okay. I think we could have left the surfboards. It was really easy going. Yeah, but surfboards are fine inside too. Yeah. They're just less. I just don't want it to shift and fall. But. It won't shift okay. and fall if you got it tucked under the, yeah. the blanket, right? Yeah. Alright, so now we gotta figure out how to get back. Yeah. Hey guys, we're officially homeless. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> how does it feel to be homeless? Anybody have, have anything to say? We have a hotel. Sad. Yeah. Sad. We're not homeless, we have a hotel. Oh. We still have our home. Except we're Just on a boat. The boat has it now. Boat? Why boat? Do we keep having our Let's hope that everything that we kept in the hotel fits in all the duffel bags that we bought. Because if not, if we're, we're going to have problems. Do you know what happened? I went in the office where a bunch of dudes and vests were, and one guy said a bad word. And the other guy said, watch your language. We have guests here. And then when we left, I told the guy, I say more bad words than most of the guys. <laughs> office, so they should watch out for me. <laughs> now we don't have a car. We don't have a way of driving to a restaurant or cooking in the van, really, if we wanted to. So I thought that maybe we could just buy like a $20 George Foreman grill. And then we can just make like paninis or quesadillas. We can even grill meat down there and like cut it up and put it in salads. But we didn't want to have to carry it around because we're leaving this hotel tomorrow and going to a hotel closer to DC. Here we're closer to Baltimore where we're getting our vehicle shipped. Now that's done, now we're just waiting for our next day. Back up with me cause I need it again, again